Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I want to make a quick video about uh, staying humble in the game, okay? And also not thinking that you have this stuff mastered, okay? I've been talking to quite a bit of guys on the phone recently, okay, who are interested in my eight-week eight mentorship program that think they have things all figured out, okay? Guys that have slept with under 10 girls, guys that have slept with 12 girls, okay? Even guys that have slept with 100 girls, uh, mistakenly think they have the game mastered, okay? Uh, at the time of this recording, I am at 1275 on the dot, 1275 girls on the dot. I have a uh, eight girl threesome rotation, okay? Me and my main girl out here, we have eight different group chats and sets of girls for threesomes. I still think there is a lot of room for improvement in the system, okay? So it, it, I find that quite funny when guys tell me that they have things all figured out or they have things mastered. Okay, and that is a very dangerous mindset to have as it, it very quickly stagnates your process or your progress, okay? Um, before we continue, please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. If you are interested in learning more about my eight-week mentorship program, we do have very limited spots in the next round of two months. Okay, it's an eight-week program. We are churning out advanced guides. Okay, we just had a virgin come through who tried everything beforehand, failed, failed, failed. Okay, and he just got eight lays across the eight weeks. So he got about a new lay a week. Five dates straight to the house, closed. Uh, two dates in public that came back to the house after and closed. And one night game pull, okay? And this is a guy that was a virgin beforehand, okay? We're getting guys very, very, very good. Okay, guys are really shocked how we just start flooding their calendar with dates and that, how they have tons of girls come back to the house. Everyone is crushing it. Everyone is destroying. Um, very, 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 very successful program, okay? Click the link in the description if you want to hear more about that and want to see how I can help you. I can diagnose where the weak spots are in your game, give you a, a roadmap and a game plan for how I can fix those things as quickly as possible. But I just wanted to make this quick video. This is something that was I was thinking about here. This nice little skull mug here. Um, like Juicy J, okay? He's, he's my favorite rapper. He says, like, the secret to continuing to excel, like in the rap game or in any game, is to stay hungry. Okay, what does that mean? That means to not think that you have the game mastered or not, or not think. It's always a work in progress, okay? I use the color analogies. When I explain my system, I show basically the flow chart, right? And, and pieces that are degraded are not, let's say, start with pieces that are non-functional or, or pretty severely degraded. I color them red, okay? Things that are compromised but still functioning on some level are yellow. And things that are kind of optimized or closer to operating very, very, very at a high level are green, okay? So the goal is you can look at the whole macro overview structure of game. You can see where you have yellow and red boxes. Then you can drill down at a more micro level. Okay, let's say your, your night game box is red. Or let's say it's yellow. You can drill down. Okay, where are the weak spots here? Okay, now here's all the areas where I can fix. That's how you can uh, greatly strengthen your game is you look at any particular parent node in the flowchart that is weak and you improve all the children nodes so that you turn that top node green. But for all uh, intensive purposes, I treat the entire system as if it is always yellow, okay? Meaning every piece of it is always open to improvement and that's what drives forward innovation. That's, that's what drives forward exponential results progression, okay? Someone like Mystery, even though I greatly admire him, he, fro he built a system in 2006, he froze it in time, and he told me in 2016 that he was in the low 300 counts, low 300 lay count, okay, even though he was coming up on age 50, and that is largely, there's a naked Brazilian in my house, <laughs> that is largely uh, due to the fact that he, did, he failed to evolve, okay? He got a bunch of stuff right, but he got a bunch of stuff wrong, and a bunch of stuff was very uh, inefficient, or some things just full-on completely ineffective. But rather than trying to find the weak spots, he said, okay, here's my system, right? And then it's performing at a much, way much lower output than a system that is constantly evolving and constantly being optimized. So the lesson here is when you start to make some levels of progress, whether they be basic levels of progress or, or more advanced levels of progress. Um, don't make the rookie mistake and the, and the foolish mistake of thinking that you have things all figured out or that you're doing 
good enough. Okay, trust me, there, there's always room for massive, massive improvement here. And a lot of this stu stuff took me like a full 15 years to really work through. And this is like with 12,700 phone numbers in my phone. Okay, this is with approaching over 10,000 people. It was about doing this stuff all day long related to the game and thinking about it all day long. Okay, and, con and, and I'm a hyper analytical optimizer. I, can, I consider myself uh, very bright in terms of optimizing systems. And, I, and I'm getting on the phone with guys that you know, are under 10 lay count that are saying stuff like, I think my game is, is probably, you know, my skill level is probably close to yours. Or, or I think I have this mostly figured out. Uh, you're probably a little better. Oh, really? Okay. All right. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting to hear that when I don't even think that I have it all figured out. Okay. But clearly the, the, the results gap is massive. Okay. If, if I can do their entire lay count in a day, for instance, then clearly we're on a little bit of a different level. Okay. So uh, that being said, don't get too cocky. And, and as you start getting results, okay, think that you have this stuff figured out. There's, there's still a lot of work you, you can do to make everything more smooth, to increase the probabilities. Okay, I, I judge everything through quantitative metrics. So out of 10 phone numbers, how many can you get out on dates? Out of 10 dates, how many show up for those dates? Out of 10 dates you run in public, how many can you bring back to the house? Out of 10 girls you bring back to the house, how many do you close? Out of 10 girls you close, how many do you uh, retain, that you want to retain, okay? Um, you know, how, how good is your sex game, right? Like, are you consistently hearing from the girl that you're the best sex she's ever had? Okay, I hear that from girls. It's probably not the case for, for most of the rest of you guys watching this, but I, I've really taken time to optimize and perfect it. I didn't just say, oh, I think, you know, I'm good enough. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, and, it, and it applies to, like, every little piece of the game, okay? And out of 10 nights out, you know, all things lengths of time being equal and whatever. There's a lot of factors in night game, these, this and that. But how often are you pulling? How, how many numbers are you getting? Et cetera, et cetera. So you can always be improving these things, okay? There's always holes. There's always leaks. That's the whole fun of, of optimizing a skill game and improving a skill game, okay? So I will leave you with that. If you're interested in taking things to the next level and really, really optimizing things and, and continuing to push forward and getting the dating life, the dating life of your dreams, please click the link in the description below. Get on a free 30-minute call with me. I'll show you, I'll show you what we can do for you, okay? I'm going to go attend to this naked Brazilian. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.